Hello everyone, in today's video we will be solving the worksheets that you had over the week. So I want you to have your worksheets in front of you to check your answers and make sure that you did them correctly. Uh, or if you didn't print them out, just have your answers uh, wherever you wrote them. Okay, so let's get started. Just a second, sorry. First exercise says we have the number 6,538. And we want to turn it into how many thousands plus how many hundreds plus how many tens plus how many ones. Well, here we go. We have six thousands. Mm, maybe red isn't such a great color for this. Black isn't great too. And we'll keep it red. We'll keep it red and we will make the numbers a little bigger and bold. There we go. Hope you can read that now. There we go. So we have six thousands. How many hundreds? Five hundreds. Three tens. And eight ones. Next up, we have 1,004, so 1,000, 0 hundreds, 0 tens, and 4 ones. Four thousand five hundred has four thousands, five hundreds, zero tens, and zero ones. Six thousand six hundred and sixty six has six everywhere, so. Just gonna make one six and then copy, paste, copy, paste. paste. Next we have three thousand two hundred and twenty-three. So we'll just put in a three, then a two, another two. And we'll make this a three. There we go. So three thousands, two hundreds, two tens, and three ones. Next up, we have two thousand one hundred and nineteen. So a two, a one, another one, and a nine. Four thousand, so four thousands, and all the rest are zeros. So zero, zero, and zero. Next up, we have nine thousand one hundred and twenty-seven, which has nine thousands one hundred two tens and seven ones. Let's move these a little further down. Let's move on to the comparisons. We have on one side 5,302 and on the other side 7,000. Well, 7,000 is more because it has more thousands. It has 7,000, whereas 5,302 has 5,000, so this is more. Next up, 3,560, 4,560. Again, more thousands on this side, so this is more. 2,123, 2,423. Same thousands this time, but this has 400, whereas this has one. So again, this is more. 6,065, 6,650. Uh, thousands are the same, so we go on to the hundreds. So zero hundreds on this side, six hundreds on this side. This is more. 
4,098, and on this side, 4,090. Same thousands, same hundreds, same tens, but here we have eight ones. So this is more. 3,200 on this side, and then 3,002 on this side. Same thousands, but here we have two hundreds, here we have zero hundreds, so this is more. Next up, circle the digit, the digit, sorry, at the hundreds place. Well, here's the thousands, so here's the hundreds. Here's the hundreds. Next up, circle the digit at the thousands place. Here are the thousands. First, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Next up, the tens. So ones, tens, here we go. And that's the first worksheet. I want you to check your answers. Again, one last time. Uh, p please pause the video and then uh, check them. And once you're done, come back. All right, so let's move on to exercise two. Here it wants us to add these numbers together. So we have 9,000 plus 100 plus 30 plus five. So the easiest way to go about this is just put the words together. So 9,135. If you don't want to put the words together, you can think, well, I'm just adding nine thousands, one hundred, three tens, and five ones. So if we were to write these vertically while well, stuck to the right, in order to add them, I mean, what you would see is that these numbers don't really interact with one another. So <clears throat> I'd say 0 and 0 and 0 and 5 makes 5. And then 0 and 0 and 3 makes 3. Okay. And then 0 and 1 makes 1. And then 9 makes nothing. It's 9. So I don't really need to add these numbers uh, with each other because they're each in a different place uh, in the number. One is the five is ones, the three is tens, the one is hundreds, the nine is thousands. So I can just place each of them in the correct spot. So next up I have, oh, actually, no, that's number three. Let's go to number two. We have 6,000 plus 700 plus 40 plus three. So six thousands. Now it shouldn't be stuck to the yeah. six thousands, seven hundreds. Four tens and three ones, so 6,743. Next up, we have 2,390, so two thousands, three hundred, three hundreds, nine tens. Is this how I would leave this number? Because there's nothing else here. Well, no, obviously, because I can't have a number with thousands that only has three digits. This is three digits. I need to put a fourth digit. But what to put next? What, uh, I should put a zero because here I'm not adding any ones. If you look closely, the ones are missing. But that doesn't mean that this number has no ones. It's just zero. Like that. Next up, we have 7,000 plus 400 plus 80 plus 4. So 7,000s and 400s and 8 10s and 4 ones. 7,484. Next up, 9,250 and 5, so 9,000 plus 200 plus 5 tens plus 5 ones. Next up, we have 5,000 plus 100 plus 50 plus 4, so 5,000, 100, 5 tens and 4 ones. Uh, 7,000 plus 900 plus 40 plus 7, so 7,000 and 900 and 40 and 4 tens and 7 ones. And next we have 5,000 plus 300 plus 10 plus 6, so 5,000 and 300 
one ten and six ones. Five thousand four hundred and sixty. This is the same as before, where we're not adding any ones, which means we need to put a zero in the ones place. Five thousands and four hundreds and six tens and zero ones. Let's just delete this. Four thousands plus one hundred plus six tens plus four ones. So four thousands and one hundred and six tens and four ones. There we go. Now, what I didn't notice in the beginning of the exercise was that each of these needed an equal sign to the right of it. So actually, let's move all. Of, no, sorry. Let's lock that down. And then move all of these a little bit to the right. Mm, yeah, we need to make them a little smaller. Yeah, we need to make them a little smaller. And then move them a little bit to the right. And do the same for these. so that we can put the equal sign in, which is very important and we should never forget. Equal sign, equal sign. Okay, great, now we're done. Let's move on. Here it says find the number. This number has five hundreds and six thousands. So I place the thousands first, six, and five hundreds. And will the rest be zero? Well, no. As we've said before, we need to put uh, zeros in the rest of the places, the tens and the hundred and the ones. We need to have a zero there. We can't can't just leave it like this. That's that's not 6,500. We need to put those zeros there. Next up, we have seven tens, two thousands, and two ones. Thousands go first, so two. Then we would put the hundreds, but we have no hundreds, so zero. Then the tens, so seven. And then the ones, so two. Next up, we have eight thousands and nine ones. First go the thousands, so eight. Then we would put the hundreds, but uh, we don't have any hundreds, so zero. And the tens, but we have no tens, so again zero. And then the ones, nine ones. Finally, we have five thousands and five tens. We start with thousands, which is five. Then we would put the hundreds, but we have none. Then we would put the tens, we have five of those. And then we would put the ones, which is zero. We have none. And those are our answers for the second worksheet of the week. So please check your answers. And that will be all. I'll see you guys again on Monday. Have a good weekend.